Hey, what's up, guys? Welcome back to Get Real with Jay. Today, we are going to watch the popular Will Smith movie, I Am Legend. So believe it or not, I've actually never seen this movie in its entirety. I have seen bits and clips of this movie because how could you not have seen bits and pieces of this movie? But I don't know how it really started. I don't know how it ended. And I think they're making a second one. That's the rumor, at least. But I'm going to check this out. And no, do not call me Will Smith because I get that all the time. And I don't get it. I Am Legend starts now. They might be bringing up, but again, sports, huh? National, I'm still liking Chicago. So life was normal but at the beginning of this Los movie, then? Well, the premise is quite simple. Um, take something designed by nature and reprogram it to make it work. We're talking about a virus. Indeed, yes, in this case, the measles. Are you worried um, about are not, are the virus taking out? everybody out? There's it's a lot of movies it, dedicated to the virus basically highway. taking us all out. The, the craziest one to me so far was course. World War Z. How many people have you treated so far? Well, we've had 10,009 um, clinical trials in humans so far. And how many are cancer-free? 10,009. Mm. So you have actually cured cancer? Yes, we have. Yeah, but what cancer? There's so many different cancers out there. F cancer. All right, so three years after they claim to have cured cancer. Not a lot of stuff going on. Is it New York? Man. Stuff like this always creeps me out because I feel like it's very realistic. Whether it's a virus or global war or some sort of a weather effect. It always weirds me out. What do we got here? Okay, there he is. So basically when the world goes to complete crap, the last vehicle on Earth that's drivable is going to be a Mustang. Or the Mustang took everybody out. Mm, he's driven this course before. What you say? What you say? Oh. Ah! Oh, whoa, oh, oh. whoa. Maybe he's hunting? He's hunting, right? I guess we're going to find out. Oh, yeah. That sucks. That V8 sounds great. The GT500, those are nice. Whether you like Mustangs or not, it doesn't matter. That's a, that's a nice car. <laughs> so is he like the only person alive? Maybe not. Is that a person or one of those infected zombie things? I know that's what this movie is. It's him and some infected zombie things, but I don't know if he's like the only one alive. Or if there's, yeah, I don't know. Man, I remember when Will Smith was on top of the world, man. It's a hard situation, man. No, you gotta leave. You either take down the whole pride or it's time to go. Mm. Let's go, Sam. Batman versus Superman, that was 2007. Okay, so we have Sam the dog. Acid. Are they going to tell us how many years it's been? Wait, so there's other people? Here you go, just the way you like it. Excuse me, excuse me. So he put on a chef apron to make dog food? Mm-mm. -hmm. Matt Lauer and Katie Couric. Eat your vegetables. So he's like watching something that happened a long time ago and maybe trying to figure out what the hell happened. I'm gonna eat twice as many Does it look like they were in New York City? All right. Don't worry about a thing. I got a really good friend right now who has an older shepherd, and that shepherd is his everything. I don't know what to do about it if something were to happen to his dog because his dog's like 16 years old. Second time is uh, a 
We've got ominous music playing. It's the second time his timer went off. Tonight, the purge. So you gotta lock down. That alarm goes off and it's time to get home and shut everything down, obviously. Okay, so you gotta sleep in your tub. I wonder how many nights it takes to get used to that. I guess he's not sleeping. Here we go, flashback. These are the answers that I've been asking about. Oh, this is a military man. I've been trying to reach you in the cell. I just keep getting a recording. You're going to ask Sarah. What? what? No. We're at 30 minutes, Colonel. Copy. 30 wow. minutes to what? They're sealing off the island. Yeah, I wouldn't ask that. I'd just like, let's go. Thank God my husband's a colonel. Robert, you said you're going, not we're going. Is it airborne? It may be. Oh, my God. You know what? I have yet to watch a movie where they have to get the hell out of Dodge and it not be... Kind of exhilarating and hush now, Mark. Was the survival of not only so. our nation, but of every other nation. Mommy, on the look, it's a butterfly. Hardly enough. And so it is with great sadness that tonight I have signed an executive order initiating a military quarantine of New York City. This has mm. been a special. It's not good. I can still fix this. Always makes me wonder, are the military going to be the first people to actually die or the only people to survive? This isn't up to you. You can't. Oh, my God. Oh, man. So we're going to get bits and pieces of that throughout the course of this movie. I like it when movies do that. So we started in the bathtub and woke up in the bed. Now I know why people say I look like Will Smith. How many pull-ups can you do? Tell me in the comments. Uh-uh. I'll be back. What do we have going on here? Got his own meth lab downstairs. Dr. Robert Neville, September 5th, 2012, GA Series Serum, 391, Animal Trials, streaming video. He's a colonel, but he's also a doctor. Oh, oh Jesus. It's a button. Compounds 1, 3, 4, 6, 14, 16, 18, did not kill the virus. 13, 15, 17. Mm. All killed the host. Hold on a second. What you got, Doc? Compound six appears to be showing decreased aggression response. GA series serum 391, compound six. Next candidate for human trials. Who's gonna be the human? Doesn't seem to be a lot of those wandering around the streets. I guess in this world, he can have any car he wants. I just going back to my whole statement earlier about the Mustang, the GT500. Yeah. All right, what are you in now? Excursion? Every little thing is going to be all right. Hey! Morning, Marge. Morning, Fred. I'll see you guys inside. So maybe Sam goes in and he barks if there's no baddies. I'm guessing that's what that meant. Okay, where is he? Oh, DVD says right behind him, so he's in like a movie music store that happens to sell clothing. Is he about to ask this thing? Is he is he hitting on the mannequin? Good morning, Hank. Hey, who's the girl? Never mind. Hey, I'll see you in the morning. God, I can't even imagine how freaking lonely this dude is. What am I supposed to say? Hello. I'm gonna say hello tomorrow. So he can do whatever he wants during the day. Okay. Confirmation the bark means all is clear. We just ransacking people's houses for supplies. Why rip the curtains down? Why not just open them? See that red salmon? Wow, actual spam. That's gotta feel like a hell of a discovery, man. Some salmon in a can and some spam. I think I take the spam. I like salmon, but mm, salmon in a can, I don't know. Let's go. Well, 
What's that say? Man. My name is Robert Neville. I'm a survivor living in New York City. I am broadcasting on all AM frequencies. I will be at the South Street Seaport every day at midday when the sun is highest in the sky. If anyone is out there, I can provide food, shelter, security. Please. That's a big city to go to crap. You are not alone. So those bridges, the fact that they must have been maybe destroyed by the military. Try to cut off whatever the hell happened. That's a lot of money wrapped up on that uh, boat there. I'm getting good. Oh, Sam. I thought I saw a person earlier, but I came around the corner. It was the deer or whatever. Was that what we saw again? I keep thinking I'm seeing people, but it's obviously not people. Okay, so we know... It's not just nighttime, it's dark places. So you gotta be quiet too, you can't even yell for Sam. What? Show me. Oh man. I thought he was about to leave because he said he has to go, but still searching. Look at me trying to look around the corner. What are you seeing, Robert? Oh, it's a deer. Sam, where you at, homie? Stop tripping, dude. Time to come out. The money ain't worth shit. Mm. So if they thrive at night and in the dark, wouldn't he want the light on him? Maybe not. That explains why he keeps covering up his sight. Oh, maybe they sleep during the day. I always wondered what would happen. Because Walking Dead was really big when my dog was alive. And so it's like, what will we do with him? He's just eaten and killed. He's a little Yorkie poo, though. He wasn't like a legit shepherd. Mm. Now they're all going to be awake. So these mugs are fast, too. Light messing with him. Wow. So is this the ultraviolet? Just the daylight. What did he just do? There's that liquid again. I want you to stay here on this one, okay? Because you can still get infected. Oh, maybe he can't. can't. Oh, okay, because I thought it bit him on the shoulder when they jumped out, but they didn't show his teeth like, like hanging off of him. Can't get infected, but you could obviously still be killed, probably. So, maybe this is so a Hancock look, origin story. I'm back by dark. Just kidding. Um, just go. So I can smell the blood. So I'm guessing he's trying to capture them, so he has more test subjects. It probably makes sense. Move from rats to human trials, and these are probably all former humans, right? Did that one have a vest on? Core temperature 106 Fahrenheit, pulse 200 BPM, respiration elevated, PaO2, 100% of normal. That's a crazy heart rate and a crazy temperature. Pupils fully dilated. Oh, so it is ultraviolet. Extreme reaction to UV exposure. The farm subject is infected with KV. KV. GA series serum 391 compound 6. Commencing human trials. Mm. Respiration slowing. Pulse 190. Core temperature 105. 104 and decreasing. Damn, that's rapid. I may have something here. Oh. That would still scare the shit out of me, to be honest with you. Even though it's strapped in. Oh, man. How long has it been? That's got to be incredibly frustrating, but how long has it been? 
You didn't, he's like me. We didn't have a reaction when that thing popped up. Oh. Was that a drone? GA series serum, 391 compound six. Ineffective on humans. So now what do you do with it? So he still sees those things as people. Still no cure. So I wonder if the hope is to find regular people and inject them so they're now immune. But they could still get bitten, so that would hurt like hell. Or to inject something that's been infected and have it slowly turn back to a normal person. But it would never look normal. Blood tests confirm that I remain immune to both the airborne and contact strains. Vaccine trials continue. I'm still unable to transfer my immunity to infected hosts. You need like a team of doctors doing this, not just one dude. Social de-evolution appears complete. You got less than 10 minutes. Baby, give me the gun. Keep the calmness down in between us and don't let anyone stop. Mommy, Dad, I'm going. It's okay, they're in the army like Daddy. They shouldn't even know that. They're in the military just like your daddy, dude. Man, that selection process in every single one of these movies, I know I wouldn't be picked to survive. I'm not essential. So what do you do? You call the homies? You probably don't have phones, but you just... If you like getting high, you get high. If you like drinking, you sit there with your buddies and family and just drink and talk and know the end is coming, I guess. If you can't get out, or you just fight for survival, I don't know. Tell me in the comments, what would you guys do in a situation like this to where you're not picked? Obviously, somebody's not going to be clear. No good. So what are they scanning for? That's interesting. No good. Oh. Get your hands off me. Sorry, Colonel. I am Lieutenant Colonel Robert Neville. I'm ordering you to scan her again. They can tell you're a colonel just by your uniform. All right, scan her again. I understand, though. It's clear. Clear. Oh. How many uh, false negatives is that freaking thing putting out, man? Can you imagine in that situation? False negative or false positive? How long? Five minutes. Oh, I don't know why I thought they were going on boats. Alright, so they're out safe. Taking up so long to take off. It's a long scene, man. Here we go. They're pretty ominous there. That's the official reactor word, ominous. Closer look at the ongoing mutations of Dr. Alice Crippen's once hailed miracle cure for cancer. He's a colonel and a head of the CDC? Like, what's the deal here? I am broadcasting on all AM frequencies. I will be at the South Street Seaport every day at midday when the sun is highest in the sky. You are not alone. All right, what's going on? Dude's not moving. Or that person's not moving. He's talking to mannequins again? What the hell are you doing out here, Fred? Fred works at the store, right? He's the mannequin. Yeah, he's the mannequin behind the no. counter. What the hell are you doing out here, Fred? How did you get out here? If you're real, you better tell me right now. Man, he's losing it. What was that about 15, 12, 13 rounds on a mannequin? He's obviously losing it. So he's got to be waking them up, though, really. Because if he had to make no noise when he was in that building, I mean, the gun is so freaking loud. Wait, hold up. Woo! He just knocked himself out. He just... You say he stepped into his own trap, but I don't know, man. That was very suspect. Damn, how much blood did he lose? Been upside down for God knows how long. Oh, 
Dying light, man. Dying light. All right, I was gonna say he's gotta have a knife on him or something. Can you imagine the strength it takes to like curl up and do that, dude? My ass, knowing me, I would cut that rope and then break my neck. I'd be like, Phew. ooh. Shit, what did he land on? What the hell is that? One, two, three. No. Well, you better get up and get back to your vehicle. He's got to have like no strength from being upside down, being knocked out, hanging there. Now he got a bolt or something through his leg. Is both legs blown though? You usually see somebody potato sack hop to the to where they're trying to go. Where's his gun? He dropped his gun, didn't he? Let's go. Oh shit, they got their own dogs. You'd almost think they'd be running so hard they would slide through that and it would burn them temporarily. Your adrenaline, you think, would be good enough to just, I don't know. There you go, you should have done that 100, 150 feet ago. Good job, Sam. So he could get bit, but what if the animal bites him? Come on, Sam, you can do this. Oh no, Sam's down. But they they can come out too though, can't they? Samantha, look at me, girl. Hey. No. You all take you home. I take you home. Makes sense. I think female dogs are a lot more protective. Does he have Sam strapped down though? In theory, he should though, right? If Sam's gonna turn, or maybe turn. Come on, girl, you got this. Here I am rooting for a dog on a movie. Gonna be alright. Man. Samantha is all this dude has, man. I can't even imagine. If Samantha. Oh. oh no. Losing Samantha, everything. Anyone and everyone he's ever lost. Now he's like, shit. I need to get to my gun like yesterday. <laughs> Yeah, he's snuffing her out. Oh, that's got to suck. Everyone he's ever lost just went away with that dog. Man, this sucks. Damn, that, so that happened fast. A few hours after getting bitten. I used to get the mail with my dog every day. And the first night I went out halfway between here and the mailbox, it's like a hundred yards away. I just started bawling right there in the middle of the street. I can't even imagine. Well, actually I can't imagine, but in the world where I still have people, oof. He's gotta be ready to just give up. It's a cool scene. Ask her out, dude. Promise, my friend. I will say hello to you today. Hey, good looking. You look just like Jay. You know, get real with Jay. Please say hello to me. Man, he just, he's, he just, he's the last one around. You've seen those movies where people surround themselves. They have like a whole, like a, a table full of like mannequins sitting there. That's probably what I would do. You guys would think I was freaking nuts. Oh, he's out at night, though. Why is he out at night? Because he just doesn't give up. They walk like they're, um, like they're sneaking. Oh, shit, they were sneaking. There's got to be tens of thousands of these things, though. Take them all. 
all out. Ah, smash the lights. Mmm, smart. So his best bet is to hope he falls in that water, which no one realistically would ever survive, but in movies they survive all the time. Or, what's up to his homie? Mmm. What's this? Oh, 12 noon? I thought you said 12 midnight. No wonder you're never here. It's one thing about sub captions though, because it said woman, and it's like kind of gives away what you're trying to figure out what's going on. What the hell is she doing on at night? That's right, because at night they can just follow him around. So, I wonder if people visit that address, if it's a real address. Something happens here. They spent way too much time showing this helicopter. Yeah. Okay, so that's the military doing what they always do in every movie. So they try to destroy the city to prevent infection. That's how the bridges fell. Didn't even have to show it. You saw it. Oh. Shrek means kids. Oh, well, we got cleaned up. Yo, she got to be strong as hell to pull dead weight of a dude that's like probably 220. So, what would you be thinking? Because if you think, okay, someone rescued him, they wanted him to survive, but I would be like, are you rescuing me to eat me later? I wonder if he, he wonders if these people are real, right? He's got to be wondering that. He's like, where the f have you people been this whole time? I'm afraid the eggs are powdered. Pompously, you know that. They're yours. But I did find bacon. I just have all the most fantastic thing in history. And... Who are so maybe she doesn't have a house. I'm Anna, and that's Ethan. Me, Robert. Where the hell did she find bacon? That's what I would be asking if I was him. Not, who are you? Why are you here? Where did you find bacon? We came from Maryland. We heard your message on the radio. We were at the pier at noon. We waited all day. Oh, shit. Going to Vermont, to the survivor's colony. There's no survivor's colony. There's no safe zones. Nothing happened the way it was supposed to happen. It was the work. In the mountains. Mm -hmm. There's a whole colony of people there who didn't get sick. Hope. Everybody's dead. She's strapped. Everybody is dead. They're not. I would grab that bacon off the ground. I was saving that bacon. <laughs> I was saving it. So she found the bacon in his stash. Okay, I misunderstood. He's going to clean up them powdered eggs, though. They probably haven't eaten in a while. Mm, yeah. That was my version of going to the mailbox without my dog. He was having a Sam moment. All those romantic nights of laying in the bathtub with Samantha. Designated resettlement. There's something back there. Incredible. I mean, it was really great back then. Those gods, they thought it was all that. Your freedom with your own friends. He's looking at him like y'all look at me when I talk during a movie. Stick with you. You a mean green fight machine. He's like, uh, mom. I like Shrek. Don't care. You're not so good with people anymore, are you? Thank you for my leg. Where have you been? I was on a Red Cross evacuation ship out of Sao Paulo, and the Navy fell apart. We started docking to take on supplies. Someone picked it up on shore. Five of us were immune. I said five. You are the Robert Neville, aren't you? It's too late today. If you leave tomorrow at dawn, we can make it to Vermont in a straight shot. So if you I'm not tomorrow, leaving. This is my sight. I can still fix this. Obsessed. Oh. I called down twice. Oh. oh, 
Thank you. This is her first time oh. going downstairs. You think she would have roamed around while his ass was knocked out? so still. So is she just a regular person, or is she essential? You think that can cure her. She knows how to sew up wounds. Did all of them die? Yes. My God. There's a lot of former people. God didn't do this, Anna. We did. Where can Ethan sleep? Mm -hmm. Remembering what it's like. Weird, she didn't look around at all when he was knocked out. What's her name? Her name was Marley. It's a beautiful name. Yeah, we named her after Bob Marley. Who? Mm. Uh, the singer? Mm, no. Oh, shout to Sharon. Oh, no, 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 <laughs> Terrible. Is it the best album ever made? Tell me in the comments. You don't recognize that. <laughs> Time to purge proof the crib. Come with us, Neville. I wouldn't believe in the colony either if I'm him. There's no colony at the park. There's no evacuation. You're wrong. Plan. There is a colony. How does she know? How do you know, Anna? <laughs> Heard on the radio? I just know. Oh, well, she just feels it. God told you. Yes. You were trying to kill yourself last night, right? Anna, I just know. And I got here just in time to save your life. Stop do you think it. that's a coincidence? Just stop it. Like, dude, what do you have to lose at this right, point? Let me tell you about your guys. Besides all your research. There were six billion people on Earth when the infection hit. KV had a 90% kill rate. That's 5.4 billion people dead crashed and bled out dead every single person that you or i has ever known is dead what is that real shit to lose man dark when you brought us home last night uh oh we we're bleeding there was light on the horizon oh he said wait till the sun comes up turn the light off turn it off follow us home Damn. Don't nobody want to go out like that. Uh, next time, move it a little further away from the house. Anna. Anna. So this is 2007. If this movie were done today, well, I don't know. what. Let's see what happens to Anna. I was gonna say she'd probably be dead. It's like that. They have to punch you in the gut with movies. Where's she? Oh, that's the big one, isn't it? Then that thing thrown by his collarbone. Damn. Can bullets even kill these things? I guess he did kill one earlier. Damn, that one's a beast. Like, that one's literally a beast, but, you know. Where's she? There she is. She's just ripping shit up to rip shit up. Too late to get that car and go. Go on a wing and a prayer. Did he even get hit by bullets? No, it's time to go. Downstairs, go! Get to the lab. Get to the lab. And they're knocking each other off. But that thing is healed now. Remember they had one on the table? I'm telling you guys like you haven't seen. Obviously, you've all seen this movie 50 times if you're watching me watch this movie. It's working. They don't know what you're talking about, dude. They're just creatures at this point. I Except for that one who apparently is the alpha. Let me save you! No, no. 
I think I know. Is that actor? Is that Anthony something? He has alopecia. I think that's him. Hopefully not, though. Isn't that plexiglass? Is, is it plexiglass shatter like that? I like how they like eliminated all the sound. That was cool. The cure is in our blood. Moment of clarity. Cole, shoot. Ethan will be safe. Ethan, get in. I think this is why you're here. What are you doing? I'm listening. What do you think I'm doing? Get the hell out of here. Stay until dawn. I thought it was a tunnel or something. If they saw him lock, they're in there. I'm saying. Theory they could get to her easily. Hope that trap door is grenade proof. Obviously, no way he would survive that. I was trying to think of any possible situation he would have survived that. So he pulled the pin. Released the handle and then met the, the alpha at the glass. And then she would have swept afterwards to make sure to verify if he was dead or not before getting in the car and driving off. Right? That makes that's the only logical thing. It's funny, it didn't say birds chirping, it said birds singing earlier, it said birds chirping. So maybe the birds are happy. Do they just get scanned? Oh, snap. Let's go. Survival, let's go. Dr. Robert Neville dedicated his life to the discovery of a cure and the restoration of humanity. On September 9th, 2012, at approximately 8.49 p.m., he discovered that cure, and at 8.52, he gave his life to defend it. This... Is his legend. Light mm. of the darkness. Wow, that was that was pretty good, man. That was a cool movie. Yeah, so I think I'm going to have to process this a little bit. I'm not going to be able to tell you what I thought about the movie immediately. Or actually, I will tell you what I thought about it immediately. And then maybe I'll come back with a post-edit. But I know a lot of times you guys like to hear what our thoughts are as reactors. Like I said in the opening, I have seen bits and pieces of this movie. I don't know how it started. I just learned how it ended. Uh, if they are making a second movie, I have no idea how that could even... Um, maybe it's about her. Maybe Dr. Neville somehow survived. Somehow. That's uh, that's pretty bizarre. But this was a really cool movie. And I, I like movies like this because, sure, they're fiction. But I think they're loosely based on things that could actually happen in reality. Most of these type of, I mean, World War Z, that, that was a crazy zombie movie. I know this isn't about that, but, you know, if something like that were to happen, if something like this were to happen, you know, would you survive? You know, are you a prepper? Tell me in the comments if you're a prepper. Maybe if you like this type of movie, it kind of prepares you for prepping. Like, if you're a prepper, props to you. Um, no shade to you. I'm not a prepper, but I have a lot of friends that kind of live the prep lifestyle. So think about me if the world goes to complete crap. And, um, yeah, I'm going to go edit the movie right now and I will be right back. Okay, guys, I just got done editing this movie and it is absolute nuts. First off, this was an awesome movie. One of the things that stood out that I completely missed the first time I watched the movie, going through and stepping through with the edits, when he first wakes up after meeting Anna or Anna and getting his leg done, he sees his family. He sees his wife and he sees his daughter. And I completely missed that watching the movie real time. Another funny thing is... <laughs> Stepping through the movie, there were so many points, especially near the end, where there were some jump scares, and I freaking jumped out of my seat watching it, doing this stuff. But the thing is, when I'm watching these movies, I'm so locked in the first time that I don't really have a natural reaction, and so it looks like I'm just totally disassociated and bored. I'm one of those people that when it comes down to it, I react first, then freak out later. And so I think that's why when I'm doing the edits, I am more likely to freak out 
after the fact than I am when I initially watched the actual movie. And finally, with the end explosion, I just cannot think of how in the world would he have survived? Because I know there's a sequel. Shouldn't Anna and her son be dead? You're telling me that door was strong enough to withhold the blast from a grenade at point blank range? Whatever the case, it's just a movie. But I'm trying to figure out how would they make a sequel? And the only thing I can think of, because I haven't really looked it up, is maybe it's I Am Legend as told through her perspective. Because by the time she meets Robert Neville, they've already gone through all their bull crap. And finally getting a chance to meet up with him is ultimately the last act that ended up saving her life. So I'm curious of what the second movie is. And again, I haven't really researched it. I've just heard that they're making a second one. So you guys can tell me if you want. There's a bunch of theories, whatever the case. But I really enjoy this movie. Like I said before, I've seen bits and pieces of it before. But I never saw the beginning. I remember the very end, but I don't know how we got there. Anyway, if you guys have enjoyed this, hopefully you hit subscribe and I will catch you on the next movie. I do have a Patreon. I don't talk about it much, but the link is somewhere on my profile and that's where you can see the full-time reaction. And so until next time, I will catch you on the next Get Real with Jay.